I thought I'd do a vlog today since I haven't done one for a little while. And as you all know, like Friday's my favourite day because one, I don't have to share Charlie at the weekend with anybody. <laughs> and two, we get all these marvellous pictures from his school. So at first I'll just read you about Tinny's little red book because he's had a really nice day today. It says, Chai is very smart with his new haircut. Like, I'm glad they like it. I mean, I love it. I think he looks great. But I was quite, um, not nervous, but I wasn't really looking forward to his haircut. One, because we normally have a breakdown at some point. And two, because I do like his little floppy bit on the top. But with it getting so warm and his hair's so thick, I thought we're going to just, we're just going to have to do it. But he looks so grown up. So it's good that they all love it. <laughs> it says, Chai has had a good morning assembly, then the bus out to the park. He's doing a lot better sitting on the toilet. So that's great that Chai's really getting the whole toilet business now. I mean, he always wants to come to the toilet with me and Dean. I mean, if you try and have a pee in peace in this house <laughs> with Charlie, especially with our like our main bathroom being off his bedroom, he wants to he wants to come and see what you're doing. And then he wants to his new obsession as well. He's figured out where you turn the hot water and the heating on. So he goes in and presses all the buttons and, like, you know, has a fiddle with it till it comes on. And then he has to make sure it's turned off. So, yeah. So that's really good. So I think that kind of helps, even though, obviously, it'd be nice to be able to go to the toilet in peace now and again. I think it's kind of helping him. And, like, he used to come to the toilet with me all the time and he'd flush it. He'd start flushing it and putting the seat down. So, like, I thought, his clogs are turning. He's understanding what the steps are. And then obviously it was like a few weeks ago when he actually went to the toilet at school, which is great. So finding out that he's doing a lot better at sitting on it is like a really positive step. We also bought him some little underpants here. It was like so cute. <laughs> They've got Marvel like superiors all over them. So Charlie's absolutely amazed that he has some underpants with like the Hulk on. Because he doesn't even he doesn't even watch anything with the Hulk on. But he knows what the Hulk does. Like he used to have these pyjamas when it looks like you dressed up as the Hulk. And he's actually, like, his little blue chair, that's just over in the corner, he used to literally just pick it up and, like, throw it on the floor and then laugh. But he'd only ever do that when he had his, his Hulk pyjamas on. So, but we bought them so, like, we can start putting them on Charlie when he's around the house. And then he can kind of understand how they feel and kind of get used to that for when it comes to time when he gets into them properly. And to start maybe thinking if he's maybe wearing them around the house, maybe if we're in one day on the weekend, maybe he might think more about letting somebody know that he needs a toilet because he might start to understand, well, this is in a nappy. So I don't, you know, wee and poo in here. I best tell someone that I need to go. And that might help with his confidence with it as well. And then it says, good afternoon at horse riding. Please can you send in some joggers with Charlie's, when Charlie's going horse riding and some more crisps for snack? Because Charlie is very, very particular about his snack. Um... So, yes, it's okay, I'm recording. Sorry, guys, I like because it's really bright in here. <laughs> it's like reflecting on the screen. I thought, am I just talking to myself for no reason? But no, um, so he's really enjoying horse riding, which brings me on to Charlie's marvellous pictures. Right, I just love these. I couldn't wait for this week. So please, 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 horse riding. And it says, Charlie enjoying his first horse riding session. Oh, look at That's Charlie. Going around the arena on his horsey. And then another one it says, Chai was very brave riding a lovely horse called Prince. Which I love that it's called Prince, especially because I always say that he's my lovely little prince. And then our last picture is sent to me. Like, I really love like, the text under this because I think it's, it's just wicked. So this is Charlie playing with shaving flame, cor cornflower and glitter. So you can see that like marvellous glue piece lodgy mess so Charlie would have probably like like that a bit but not overly. I mean he loves different texture and it's like really weird the textures you think he'd hate he loves and vice versa so it is quite hard to think about stuff like sensory work to do with him because obviously I don't want to upset him or freak him out by putting a texture there that's like completely like like breakdown mode to him but this uh, lovely texture I'll just read to you now it says, Chai is exploring cornflower, shaving foam and glitter. Chai engaged well in the activity for a few minutes. Staff supported Chai to explore the new textures and added glitter to encourage visual awareness. Initially, Chai appeared not to like the feeling of the resources named above. Staff supported this choice with an I don't like symbol to help Charlie understand his preference. 
which is great. It's like a little while ago, he'd done some art and craft at school and he used a card to indicate which colour paper he'd like to use, which was amazing because then it's like learning about, you know, it's a different way of learning what colours Charlie likes. Because obviously like, Poppy is just obsessed with pink. So anything she sees that's pink, wherever it be. Oh, that's pink. It's my favourite colour. And with Charlie, it's like, I wonder what his favourite colour is. He loves bright colours, but obviously there's a lot of them. So it's nice because like, little things like that help us understand Charlie like loads, loads more. Um, so the fact that he's starting to, his choices started to be backed up with that I don't like symbol would be great because then we could get like an I don't like symbol at home. And Charlie can tell us, like, I might be making him a dinner that I think he loves, but he might actually hate. <laughs> so it'd be great if you could be like, you know, I don't like that. I think life could be a little bit easier <laughs> with one of those cards. So I'll stop rambling because I think I've I've been on the ramble six minutes. That's not too bad. So I'll tell you, Steve will kill me. <laughs> He's always shouting at me because I always get on a, on a, um, I just can't shut up really. <laughs> so, um, but Charlie, I posted it on the page this morning, so I don't know if any of you guys seen it. So it might have just reached out to you. But Poppy loves having yogurts with her breakfast, especially Munch Bunch even though she calls them munch munch, which is quite sweet. Um, I just so happened to buy the ones that had apple and pear flavouring, and that used to be Charlie's favourite, favourite yoghurt flavour ever in the universe, but I could never find them anywhere. And it just so happened the ones that Asta sent me had them in. So I thought this man, do you know what, I'll give him some with his breakfast now to see if I can encourage him to put some in his mouth, or even just open the top and let him just feel it. Because usually if Charlie's put his hand in something, he just immediately puts it to his mouth to figure out what it is. So I thought, oh, maybe it's a little bit of a sneaky way <laughs> to give it a try. So I put some on the spoon, and at first Charlie just looked at me like, nah. I know what it is, I've just seen you scoop it out of that pot, I'm not putting it in my mouth. And then he wandered off, and you could see he kind of had his little thinking face on, and he come back. I said, do you want to have a little go, mate? And he had a little try, and he pulled the most hilarious face. It was like he just squeezed some lemon into his mouth. Um, he wasn't quite impressed. But then he was stopping, and he was like, mm -hmm. like, really... Kind of thinking, oh, maybe I quite do like this. Um, and then he ate half of that yogurt, so like I was over the moon. I thought, oh my god, that's like a massive breakthrough. One, because it'd be nice, he could have his dinner and have a yogurt afterwards. Because you know, some kids might like a little treat if you know if they've been good and they've been eating all their dinners and stuff. Like, probably might have some chocolate buttons or something. But Charlie hates anything sweet. We've only just got him to start drinking juice now and again. Um, so it's not like I can even think, oh, you know, you've been really good having your dinner, you can have a nice lolly or something, because you just hate it. So I thought, well, it's a nice little thing, and it's like, you know, more, a more healthy option if you could, if you'd eat yoghurt. Um, and the fact that yoghurt texture has been something that's freaked him out for, like, the past three years. It was, like, three years ago, pretty much, when he last ate a yoghurt, so that was, like, a massive breakthrough. And then I thought, maybe I'll, like, push it a little bit and see if he wants to try some other flavour, because it was, like, apricot and peach. I thought, well, that's more, you know, of a mild taste. It's not so, like, potent, if you like, not, like, zesty. And he'd give it a go. He, he didn't like that one. I think he hated that one more. But he'd give it a go, and he knew. I was He was watching me putting it on the spoon. He knew it wasn't, like, mixing it in with his porridge, which would be my usual trick. Um, that's because I bought some, like, I don't know if you guys have trouble with, like, fruit and things like that with textures. So I bought, like, the little fruit pots, you know, it's just, like, purified. Like, you get for babies, like, the highest little baby ones. And I get plain porridge and put that in on the top, but I leave it on the top so you could see it. And then I'd like mix it in, but just slightly so it wasn't like all over. And he really liked that. So I thought, hmm, maybe if we wouldn't eat the yogurt off the spoon, we could do that. But then he was more than happy to eat it off the spoon. Didn't like the taste, but I think he was intrigued by it, so he kept coming back for some more, which was really cool. Um, so I think that's all I have to report today, guys. Charlie's currently happy. He'll be over me having his dinner. Because we got these hot dogs from Asda's in our shopping the other day. And I thought, you know, a hot dog, like when you get off a hot dog store, so they're just like thin and like really long. But they're not, they're like, they're like that. And they're like that. They're absolutely, they're gigantic. And Chai had some of this dinner yesterday and absolutely loved it. To the point where he didn't want to eat the rest of his dinner. He was like, oh yeah, just some sausage. So I thought we'll do it again today. He likes it. And sometimes at school, there's usually a lot of pasta choices on the menu um, of the days of the week. But sometimes there isn't, so out of the two, I'll kind of guess at what one I think Jai would like more. Um, I'd be more than happy to try and give him, like, different choices for dinner at school. But with him being at school, it's like he's at home where I think if I've made him something and he doesn't like it, 
I can just quickly rip something else up. I think he needs his energy to go. That's like crucial to his day. So I was like, if we set for everything as pasta, as much as we can for the week, then that's more be- like more beneficial for Charlie. He's going to be a lot more happy about it. Um. However, the other day he did eat a pork dinner, which I was quite surprised about really. Um. So he's doing those better with food and textures, and he's getting better at trying. It's like before he started school, at one point he loved like the sauce, like dolmio sauces and things like that. And with pasta or things like that, but then he just completely went off that as well. And since he started school, he's decided, well, actually, yeah, maybe it might, it might be a good idea to try that again. So we're doing it. So we're getting good on the potty and with the food. So hopefully, it will kind of resolve our nappy issues of taking it off, and then putting what's in his nappy on the walls because that's it's not pleasant. So we're trying to find like a texture, um, similar to I know this is disgusting, guys. I'm sorry, like poo. <laughs> Um, thinking like you know something that's meant to be played with the mess around with and that might make him not feel like he has the urge to do it I don't know if that's m- maybe like a sensory issue if he's like craving a certain texture and he can't find it anywhere and unfortunately poop is the thing that's most close to it so it's just a bit of a guessing game but I'll show we'll get there in the end we've got these new bees to play with tonight I'm sorry I know I'm rambling um, G- our Jules hi Jules sent them in the post to us and they're amazing that these things they come and they look like tiny little seeds and you put them i think it's in a litre of water and leave it for 24 hours and they turn into like these bouncy balls but they're all bright colors they're fantastic and they feel so nice um it feels like water running through your fingers like it's so cool so we did that yesterday so after dinner today that the kids can have a play with it poppy caught them before so she's had a go and um, but i think chai would really like that so maybe that might be a texture that's like a little bit like poo you never know <laughs> But I will stop now, guys. And I hope you've all had a lovely week. Enjoy your weekend. If you're getting up to anything special or anything particularly fun, please, please share them on our page. We love to see all you guys having fun and to embrace all our little ones' differences and what they find fun and all their achievements. So keep sharing. Share, share, share. Right on the wall. Let's get autism to the forefront and really show people how amazing and beautiful our little ones are. So take care, guys. Bye.